empty a socket box and normally a socket would go in but I'm hoping the light switch will fit in there because I can't use that in this flat there's no neutral so I'm hoping to use it as a light um, a socket a switch instead so here's the box like it will fit. So basically it will go there and you can have your wires in and out here. And uh, yeah this will run up to 2 amps so anything that can, uh, anything 2 amps or under you will be able to use this box for. And of course you've got power in, power out, and the power out goes to the socket. I like these cutaway bits as well. This come from AliExpress, it only costs like 50p. So yeah, bargain. It's obviously cheapy plastic. <coughs> it's not really hardened, but you can knock out these bits if you need to, or these bits, or even these bits. I can't believe there's so many cutaways. They only needed like a couple in there and a couple in there. I don't see why they needed there and there as well. But okay, whatever. It'll do its job. And there's even got some on the back. So you can have a wire going in and a wire going out, or any other direction that you want. But yeah, for 50p you can have grumble. And uh, yeah, that will line up perfectly. There might be a little bit round the outside, but that's not much of a problem. So yeah, I'll probably wire that up and uh, make another video showing the end result. Right, so there it is wired up got the wire coming in into the actual switch and then from the switch to the socket. All we've got to do now is screw it all together and test it out. Okay so that's what it looks like when it's all done. The wire goes into the switch, out the switch into the socket. So all we've got to do now is plug something in, hope something don't blow up. Right so I've plugged something into it. All I've got to do now is uh, hit the switch. Here you go. Can you see that red light come up? So it works. So now what you do is you can use an app on your Android phone or whatever and you control it wirelessly now through your Wi-Fi. So yeah, this is good for if you're in a different room and you want to turn something on or off. It works up to 2 amps. But um, yeah, quick and easy project. Can't believe it works. So yeah, no trip switches playing this time. If only uh, the light in Work right, just as well. If there had been uh, neutral, I would have used it for my light, but yeah, never mind. But yeah, let's say uh, while we're at one of them, it's the Yeah, just quickly, if you um, have the Android app, bring up the uh, Wemos app, and you can pair it up. So I'm going to try and do that now. And uh, eventually, of course, you can use it with Amazon Alexa. So you better say, Amazon Alexa, turn on the light, and it will turn on the plug socket you know uh, so that's um, that's your idea anyway it probably will come up as a light I'm not too sure if you can choose what you call it so if I can change it to a socket I can say turn on socket Alexa or whatever Alexa turn on the socket but yeah we'll cross that bridge when we come to it I've got to pair it first with the uh, Wemos app right so basically you hold the uh, little button on the um, switch to it blinks first and then you can pair it up as you can see it's pairing now connecting to your device please wait it's still uh, blinking on the actual switch so it shouldn't take too long it will ask for your Wi-Fi password because everything goes through the Wi-Fi uh, it could take up to three minutes as well to pair still on stage 3 pairing so I might have to wait up to 3 minutes it really should be instant, I don't know why they put in uh, such a slow device pairing but never mind it should work so um, pairing failed, unable to find a device ok so in that case you have to go to try again and got to start all over the fucking again so, um, yeah. 
see the um, LED is blinking as well, so there's no reason for it not to pair. It does say to make sure it's close enough to the rear, but of course everything else works, so there's no reason why this shouldn't. It's just really slow, but yeah, it should work eventually. Okay, it seems to be pairing now, it's saying complete. So now you get to choose the device name, which is handy, because I'm going to call this a socket instead of just device. So what I had to do was on the big button, because that light above it is not a button, it's just a light. So you have to hold the actual button for 5 seconds to get it to blink fast. So I'm going to put in here socket, all lowercase. You can call it socket 1 if you've got two of them. But I'm going to keep it as socket, and if I get another one I'll call that socket 2. Just makes, makes just as much sense. So anyway, yeah, socket complete. Had it successful. So now you can edit, you go that socket, that looks really smart. So um, if I hit it, it's off. You see the light went off there? Try and get this, this side of the shot, right, okay. So if I go on again, red light should come on. Yep, yeah, it's on. Quite hard to tell, but it is on. So now all I've got to do is head it up for Alexa, and I can have um, voice activated socket. Also, just quickly, it's also got a timer but built in, so you can have it, say like you had um, a grey plant, um, a grey light for the plants, you can have the timer come on automatically if you wanted to, so that's kind of cool. Anything else you might use a timer for, like a fish tank heater, all kinds of things. So, um, yeah, so you can automate and have it on a timer. So, yeah, really good. So, yeah. Right, so on your Amazon Alexa um, app, you can go into your options, which is on the top left hand corner, and go to Smart Home, and then it brings up to Discover, as you can see, or Discovered the Devices, and it um, comes up EWE Link, which is exactly what I need. So I'll click. It says Show in One. Um, so I assume it's already ready. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to test it now, and this will be ready for upload. Okay, I just went in the other room and said Alexa, turn off socket, and there you go, the socket is off. So um, yeah, it's not in the same room, otherwise I'd uh, do it live, uh, well, I'd do it on recording for you here, but you can see it's in the list anyway. As long as you've got the EWE link app on your phone, as long as you've got a Sonoff switch, as long as you've got an uh, Amazon Alexa, Alexa uh, Dot or Echo, um, you're uh, good to go. So I'm going to wire this up to an FM transmitter and I can remotely turn on and off the transmitter. So, yeah, that'd be cool.